I've really been enjoying replaying Until Dawn and making these videos the past week on my like 10th playthrough of the game. And in the time, I've seen a lot of dialogue and multiple situations change and figured some of them you probably haven't seen before in your playthrough if you have only played once or twice. So these are some of the rarest and most secret dialogues in the game. Five, girl. In the first Dr. Hill session, if you answer his questions, I feel uneasy because of the scarecrow. If it wasn't there, I'd stay in the house. If it was haunted, I wouldn't stay. He will diagnose you with the fear of supernatural. From a significant fear of, of the supernatural. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? In chapter one, if you don't shoot the squirrel or the bag, then Sam will make fun of Chris. I don't think your targets are going anywhere. Okay, a little more shooting and a little less preening, huh? Finding it a little harder to pull the trigger when it's not a video game? Hey, Pistol Polly, you ever gonna actually shoot that thing? Also, in chapter one, you can kill the squirrel and the bird, as this will be needed for an extra scene later in the story. What are you doing? How could you do that? Chris, that is so effed up. What? That poor little guy was alive about 10 seconds ago. Oh, come on. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I cannot believe you just did that. Oh, no. Damn, Jess. Look what you did. I know, I know. Oh, no. Poor birdie. Poor little Tweety birdie. Stone cold, Jess. I didn't do it on purpose. In chapter two, after Jessica falls down into the mineshaft, if Mike doesn't rescue her and waits a minute or so before going through the gap between the wall and the minecart, she says that he took too long and she'll smack him in the head. You take the scenic route? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to bat you yeah. upside the head. <sighs> also in chapter two, after Matt clears the snow off the table, you can do it again to reveal a heart. Maybe there's a better spot. Does this spot start with a G? There are lots of places out here. I already started clearing this off for us. Like a gentleman. Well, come on, let's look around. Oh. Well, look at that. Hey. What the hell, Em? Don't be jealous. Why would you take me here? Made me feel like a chump. Don't be so sensitive. I'm here with you right now. Mike's the chump. Okay. Maybe chump isn't the right word. What is? Lucky. Hmm. You got in there. Lastly, in chapter two, when Emily pretends to get her arm stuck in the totem, don't try to help her. Hey, I wouldn't. Just slide it up in there. Ah! <gasps> I suppose I should yank you out of there before your hands ripped off, right? Yes, Matt, help me. Mm. Boy, I'd be a terrible boyfriend if I let a scary old totem pole bite your hand off, wouldn't I? Matt, come on! I guess I'm just the worst, then. <sighs> yes, you are the worst. Boom! <laughs> gotcha! What? Tables of turn. Yeah, yeah, gold star, whatever. In Chapter 3, if you fail all the QTEs when running with Mike to the cabin, it will give you some funny cutscenes. Mike, what the hell are you doing? I don't know! Michael, what are you doing? I, I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know. Seriously? I just, I froze, I don't know. Mike, you're a big boy, you gotta think on your feet. Yeah, of course, Jed, I, I don't you know. You need new pants? 
What? Well, you pooped all over those. Yes. No, no, for real. Don't turn out like that on me again, homeboy. Not attractive. If Mike and Jess find the tree carving near the metal bridge earlier in the chapter, then when Mike tries to seduce Jessica, she will bring it up. Maybe we just need to jump into it, you know? Like jumping into a swimming pool. What? Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Seriously? Did you think that would work? Always has before. <sighs> Dick brain. You gonna use the same lines on next year's girl when she sees my initials in the tree? Ouch. Later in chapter three with Kristen Ashley, you will get some extra dialogue if you find certain clues, including the wanted poster, the newspaper fragment, answering machine, light from below, and the threatening letter. So, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? There was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? There was a message on this answering machine I found, and it, it, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who had just gotten out of prison and there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. I mean, maybe that's whoever was down in the basement before. What? Under the floorboards in the library, the light. Well, there was that guy I told you well, about. Wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. And then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. In chapter four, if you fail to get to the sanatorium under the door with Mike, there is a small side passage where you will get jump scared by a Wendigo. Fuck, that's it. In chapter 5, with Emily and Matt, you will get some extra dialogue if you make Emily go through the window and then simply walk away. Oh my god! It's pitch black. I do not like this. I'm right here, Emma. I can't see anything. There's so much crap in here I keep bumping into. It's okay. Can you find the latch? Matt? Say Matt. What the hell was that? What? I'm in the pitch black with spider webs and dust and ugh, you just go wandering off? Em, I just... Don't M me. This is a complete and total breakdown of even the slightest glimmer of trust I might have had that you can protect me from the bad things that are out here. And I am just majorly bumming out. Em, just stop. I'm really sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> well, see, you weren't thinking for one thing. Also, while you are here, choose to return to the lodge instead of going to the fire tower, as this will help unlock a different dialogue later in the story. You will get a unique scene in this same area if you fail to grab Emily before she falls off the ledge. Ah! Emily! <sighs> Sorry about that, him. You are okay, right? Okay. Okay, easy now. You know, I'm, I'm lucky to be alive. No thanks to you. Jeez, Em, I, I tried to grab you. <laughs> Good effort, Matt. I'll do better next time. I promise. Next time? I mean... <sighs> In chapter six, right at the start, 
If you've killed the bird, the squirrel and the deer, you will get an extra cutscene here with the deer at the start of chapter 6, where you will have an extra deer which you can attack. Okay. Shutting up. <laughs> If Matt saw Emily and Mike hugging at the beginning of the game, then when Emily is asking for Matt to help her when she's falling off the radio tower, you can insist twice to tell her the truth and she will admit to cheating on Matt. Thinking. Let me think! Don't think, you idiot! Just get me out of here! Is that why you still like Mike? He's a thinker! Matt! I don't... I saw you with him! Christ, Matt, we were just talking. Oh my god, this is not the time! Just tell me what's going on! Nothing, Matt! God! Just admit it! I, I was confused. So you fucked him! Please! Matt, I'm sorry. Later in Chapter 6 with Chris and Ashley, Chris is hit in the face with a wooden plank if you say Hannah overreacted. It takes two to tango. Sorry? I mean, it was embarrassing, but come on, she didn't have to run into the woods half-naked and upset. It's not our fault what happened. That's pretty harsh, Ash. I mean, she was really upset. I'm just saying, maybe she kind of overreacted, you know? Oh. Jesus, what the fuck? Oh my gosh, are you okay? I hate this place, let's go! Soon after, you will get some extra dialogue if you've found certain clues, including the hidden camera and fake Chris, newspapers. I'm getting a really weird feeling from all of this. What do you mean? So we're saying that the same guy who made the newspapers also set up the camera, right? Yeah, I, I think so. It's just, it feels like he's constructing this whole story for us, then watching us run around, freaking out, seeing what we do, like it's like it's some sort of fucking experiment. Yikes, that... It's kind of... Yeah, that actually makes a weird sort of sense. Right? If you don't escape with Sam in Chapter 5, then Chris and Ashley will find the dummy, and then you will find her unconscious. <laughs> Chris! Hey, 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 relax. She's scaring me. Oh my god. Yeah, right? What is that thing? It's, it's a dummy, dummy. But it's... Why is it... Wearing Sam's clothes? I have no freaking idea. Where the hell did it come from? In the fridge. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. Why did you bring it with you? I didn't think you'd believe me. And... I think it's... You know... Not a good sign. For Sam? <sighs> for any of us, but yeah. Mostly for Sam. Shh! We've got bigger problems right now. What do you mean? The psycho. Chris, I just saw him. What? Where? Where'd he go? I don't know, but we've got to be quiet. He's got to be still really close. Awesome. Please, no. Sam? Oh, Chris. Oh, no. Hello? Sam? She's not, she's not, she's not dead. In chapter 7, you will get different dialogue depending on which of the items that you find Mike, before speaking to Mike there, with there's... Sam. So you will get different dialogue oh, if you have the cell phone only, okay. the remembrance board only, okay. death machine only. Where, where's Jessica? She's, she's not with you. Jessica's dead. What? He killed her, Sam. There's some maniac on the mountain who was trying to kill us, all of us, and I swear to God, when everyone is safe and accounted for, I am gonna hunt that fucker down and rip his nuts off one at a goddamn time. Whoa. Listen, 
This guy who you're talking about, he attacked me. He showed me these videos, too. And one of them showed Josh being killed. Just ripped apart by this huge fucking saw blade. Jesus Christ. And Mike, I think somehow Josh is involved in all of this. Wait, what? How? I'm really not sure, but there was a message from his doctor, and it mentioned a plan that was like a bad idea, and now he's dead. Christ. I think he's living down here, and whoever the hell he is, he's obsessed with Hannah and Beth. Goddamn. Jesus Christ. But here's the crazy thing. I found these plans, like blueprints for a crazy machine, just like the one Josh was in, but it was fake. It was for a dummy. Wait, Sam, slow down. Josh might not be dead. Lastly, in Chapter 7, you will get extra dialogue if you found all the clues in Chapter 7 at the start with Sam. Josh, your fingerprints were all over this. It was obviously you. Oh, really? Really, really, really? You're crying out for help, Josh. Come on, you wanted to get caught, didn't you? Oh, sure. I'm totally just crying out for help. Help me! Oh, help me, help, help. Come on! Come on, it was just for fun. I mean, so you got a little bit of egg on your face, right? Nobody got hurt. What are you talking about, you asshat? Jessica's fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. And you are gonna fucking pay, dick! <laughs> In chapter 8, you get extra dialogue if you find certain clues in chapter 7, including Beth's head, the mark on the rocks, Beth's cross, Beth's phone clue, and all twin clues while playing as Emily. There are these mine shafts all over running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How did it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found oh it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her and we had no idea. Mike will get extra dialogue in Chapter 8 if you've found all the 1952 clues as Mike in Chapter 5. I was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You've been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my god. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some, like, big cover-up going on. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. In Chapter 10, extra dialogue will be given if Mike had found the case study dossier in Chapter 9 oh, in the sanatorium. Something kind of weird about it. Uh, what? A Wendigo. It had a scar. So? I've seen it before. What are you talking about? I saw these old pictures of some guys with that scar, and he was transforming into a Wendigo. You're kidding. It's one of the miners who've been trapped back in the 50s in the cave-in, which means that thing is 80 years old. At least. Spunky for an old-timer. They cleaned the place out. Killed a lot of people. They? You mean there are more of them? Oh, yeah. How many? Too many. Sam and Mike will get extra dialogue if you've found Hannah's watch before you find her journal in Chapter 10. Makes sense. I think Hannah dug up Beth. It was Hannah. No, that's Michael. It's ridiculous. Michael, it has to be. It's the only thing that makes sense. Beth died in the fall. So what? What does that mean? So Hannah must have buried her. God damn it. God damn it. Hannah was down here. I don't believe any of this. She would have been starving. 
She would have been desperate. Fuck! We need to find Josh. Right now. Lastly, if you chose not to go to the fire tower with Emily, then you give Matt the flare gun, he will keep it. And when he gets dragged away by the Wendigo, you can use the flare gun. This will allow you to tell Jess a different story about a creature when you meet her in chapter 10. Jess, I'm, I need to tell you something. And I don't want to freak you out. But there's, there's some kind of thing on the mountain. It's not human. It's like a monster. It came after me. It, Jess. It fucking pulled me down here into this fucking nightmare. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Don't freak out, please. No, oh, God. Can you move? Yeah. Come on, Jess. Lastly, the Beth's head ending with Emily. Emily is the only character to not mention going to the mines, instead mentioning finding Beth's head in her ending. But to have her say this, it only works if she's the sole survivor. Huh? Huh? What's that for you? Fuck! held it right up to my face. Right here, right in front of my nose, and he could have shot me. He almost shot me, the prick. I mean, you go out with a guy for however long and you think you know him, but man, this one really takes the cake. About Matt, have, a, have you found him? No, not yet. Oh God, he's dead, isn't he? Why do you say that? Oh, no, 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 no. He's just... Oh my god, I was such a bitch, and I, I, you know, I maybe could have helped him, maybe I could have saved him? No, no, it is, it is not an animal, and it is not a person, but it has a home down there, and it collects things like a person would, and I found all this stuff. It's horrible. What did you find? I found her head. I found Beth's head. Beth Washington? Beth freaking Washington. Please make a note to investigate further. And Josh? I didn't see him, but there's no way he could have survived. So if you haven't found him yet, that's where he's got to be. 